Hello, Master Duel Central. So this is crazy. Just as I was working on a video predicting the ban list, uh, I got told that we actually have a upcoming Forbidden and Limited list update. Everyone expected after that sweaty ass Duelist Cup we would finally get something. Maybe a good strong update to the format. Now I'm going to be honest. From what I'm expecting, it's probably going to be stupid shit like limiting Cupid Pitch or something. Based on the last ban list, probably something very irrelevant. They seem to really not want to hit the big problem cards. But, you know, let's just dive in, guys, and let's see what's up. Let's just see it. Oh, man. Okay. So the expected date for the Forbidden list is going to be August 31st, so at the end of the month. Fair enough. Oh! <gasps> they banned VFD? Imperial Order. This was my one of my biggest wishes. Vanity's Emptiness. Celestial. And for some reason, Gossip Shadow. Listen, Gossip Shadow is a great hit, actually. Because even, even though we're not seeing that many Rongos anymore since they hit uh, the Phantom Knight deck, just hitting Bamboozling Gossip Shadow is going to make Rongo much less of a likely uh, card to have to deal with in the format. But dude... This is actually really good. Maybe it's not perfect. It's not doing everything we want it to do. But holy shit. Just not having to think about Imperial Order, Vanity's Emptiness, and True King of All Calamities. That's absolutely amazing, dude. They did great. Just that alone. I'm so happy. Especially, no, I wasn't hearing that many people complain about Vanity's. I, f I hate Vanity's Emptiness, dude. This is one of my most hated cards in the game. This is an amazing... Oh my god, this is so good. And Celestial Ban is just such a good ban. It just makes so much sense. Just take away the draw two from the DP engine at the very least. You know, if they're not going to hit Verte, at least ban the Celestial. This is amazing. And I, I can't believe they banned VFD, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so good. So, no VFD, no Imperial Order, no Vanity's Emptiness. Absolutely amazing stuff right there. Cards to be limited. Cross out. I'm sorry. Cross out? Wait, okay, I gotta read the other ones because that doesn't make sense to me. Are you telling me we're gonna have a Max C format? B Troopers might actually be good. Uh, Pot of Prosperity Limited is like, okay, w goofy, but okay. I mean, I guess, yeah, that hits that hits uh, the Eldritch decks and that hits the Flunders, but it hits uh, pretty much every other deck too uh, that, that was playing it. But it's okay. Dinos don't really need it anymore. Dinos, now we have Small World. Small World, I think it's better than Prosperity for Dinos. We can play one Prosperity, worst case. Uh, Meow Meow Moo at one is like, whatever. Fusion Destiny at one, Fusion Destiny at one is really good. Um, I think that's a good hit, even though it's not like the end of the world, they're usually only using one anyway because of Verte, but when you play two at least you can draw it in your hand sometimes more often, and you know, you could just end your combo with it, worst case. So one Fusion Destiny definitely hurts the DP engine a lot on top of the Celestial Ban, and one Meow Meow Moo, I mean this card is just, you can already see they're picking up that this card is going to end up getting banned guys, let's be real here. Cards to be semi-limited, Multi Faker, was Multi Faker at one in this game? Or are they semi-limited from three? I don't even know, but uh, interesting, I guess. Gazella 2 is cool. I think that was limited, right? So I don't see why not. I don't see why we wouldn't have two Gazelle. A skill drain. Okay, so skill drain at two. No more IO. No more vanities. It's not perfect, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're hitting that consistency of those floodgate decks. I'm cool with it. I mean, they're just going to start playing summon limit. Let's be real. They're still going to just play a bunch of floodgates anyway, but you know, better than nothing. And uh, fire formation tanky to two. Was this not hit? So they have now they have what like two fractal, two tanky. Interesting. Um, and cards, yeah. Knight of Sailing can go to three. Obviously, Knight of Sailing is a shit card. Um, and applicable duration, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, and here I guess they're just explaining that unlimited card that becomes limited. A craft points bonus of twenty points will be available when dismantling up to two copies of this card. Uh, yeah, fair enough. So basically, they'll give you extra points. For your uh, dismantling of the card and I guess does the dismantling apply yeah so you have to wait until it's banned so make sure not to dismantle any of these cards before they're banned I think that's what they're saying right yeah so hold on to those cards until they're banned I'm gonna be dismantling my VFD get some sweet points and I'm gonna be making a new UR with it but yo absolutely fantastic 
amazing ban list. Honestly, it's not even perfect. Like, there's a lot of other things that are prob problematic in the game, but I see that Konami is at least listening, and they're like, well, look, we just have all these new cards. We can't just start, like, hitting Adventure. We can't hit, f like, Flu. We can't hit all the new decks. So they'll just start hitting, you know, the stuff that's a little bit older, hitting that shit a little softer for the newer stuff, but still finding ways to hit it. I'm cool with this. I think they're doing good work with this. This is actually a proper list. The last list was really a joke, but this is actually a list, okay? This makes sense. These bands especially are fantastic. True King being gone is just great. Obviously, we still have to deal with Halcdon combos, which is a shame. Um, like, I honestly think... I don't know if this is crazy, but they could have probably hit at the... Like, I know I was joking about Cupid Pitch, but honestly, if they hit Cupid Pitch at the very least... Like, we could have had, oh no, at least a slightly different line where you can't have the adventure do the Cupid pitch line and get a Colossus on top of the adventure Omni Negate. But, um, it's fine, you know, uh, it's still a good list. I'm happy with what they hit. It's not perfect, but at least it shows that they care, that they're actually willing to hit cards that are problems, even if they're UR, like True King of All Calamities, and they have an animation, because everyone thought, if you have a, an animation, you're safe, you're safe. This goes to show you don't. Look, even Imperial Order even had the old man going whoosh. It had a whole ass animation just for it. And they still went like, nope, sorry. You gotta go. So, dude, absolutely amazing. Super happy to see that. Respect to Konami. Kind of stupid to put in the animation only to ban the card like two weeks later. But you know what? We'll take it. So, yeah, that's about it for me, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Huge shout out to UCT tier members. That would be Raptor Ratcher, Bongerman420, and that dude, Joey, as well as everyone else supporting in the memberships. Make sure to become a member if you want to support the channel. And if you don't, another way to support it is just to like, comment, subscribe. Love you, love you, love you. Appreciate the support. And... Yeah!